Hello and welcome to the 2021 University Rugby Awards. My name is Phil Mooney, I am the Vice President and a Trustee of the Students RFU and it is my great pleasure to be your host for this year's awards. The University Rugby Awards are a celebration of student rugby right across the country. Each year we recognise and celebrate the very best the student game has to offer at all levels. From those who support and develop the elite talent at the top of our game, to those who quietly work away, often in the background, ensuring that pitches are booked, training is organised and games are refereed. The awards recognise that student rugby as we know it simply could not happen without the dedication of both paid staff and the multitude of passionate student volunteers who give their time week in, week out, often balancing their studies with their rugby commitments, or perhaps more often it's the other way around. Before I begin the awards themselves, some thanks are in order. The University Rugby Awards are a partnership event between the Students RFU and the RFU itself, and they wouldn't be possible without the support and hard work of some key people in both organisations. First up, many thanks to the members of the awards panel who voluntarily gave their time for the extremely difficult task of narrowing down over 60 exceptional nominations to just eight winners. And thank you especially to Elisa and Katie at the SRFU who have once again worked tirelessly to bring you these awards. Finally, and most importantly, thanks to all of you involved in running University Rugby, student, staff and volunteer alike. Now more than ever, in this time of unprecedented upheaval and uncertainty over the past 14 months, your dedication and passion for student rugby and selfless hard work continues to be the very heartbeat of our game and today's awards recognise and celebrate all of you and all that you do. Sadly, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, once again the rugby season has been severely truncated and many of you may have had barely any time at all on the pitch or training ground this academic year. Despite these challenges, however, a huge amount of work has been undertaken across the sector to ensure that some form of COVID compliant rugby activity or community team building can take place. To reflect this, we have adapted the awards accordingly this year and have introduced a number of special awards that recognise the extraordinary lengths that the student rugby family has gone to to keep the game going. Our first award is the Core Values Club of the Year Award. This award is to celebrate a university club who have demonstrated an outstanding and consistent commitment to the values of the game. And our winner this year is Durham University RFC. Despite the challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic, DU RFC excelled in their endeavours to uphold the RFU core values of teamwork, respect, enjoyment, discipline and sportsmanship this season. This included, amongst many other remarkable achievements, raising over £1,700 for the NHS and Sockstar project and raising over £9,000 for the Movember Foundation coordinating the university-wide collection and donation of 335 kilograms of food to the Durham City Food Bank, volunteering to repaint changing rooms and outdoor facilities at Durham City RFC, as well as installing pitchside memorial benches, and promoting and attending workshops on male mental well-being, sexual health, inclusivity, and safer environments for women. Congratulations to Durham University RFC. I'm Dan Blackman, club captain for Durham University Rugby Club. It's a massive honour to be accepting this award on behalf of the club. I'd like to thank the SRFU for their help throughout the year and for this award. As a club, we pride ourselves on the values of the game and with limited rugby, we focused our efforts on continuing these values away from the pitch. Credit goes to all of the boys for their work throughout the year, to Alex Key and our whole coaching team, and in particular to Ben Fowles, Fred Davies, Nick Jonas, Angus Adair, Zach Sennett and Rhys Belcher for organising and executing the charity initiatives that we've run. Although we're proud of what we've achieved as a club this year, I know I speak for all the boys in saying that we're really excited to get back playing and we'll continue to prioritise the values of rugby. Thank you. Our next award is the Pioneers of Rugby 2021. 
This award is to recognise the unique and innovative ways in which clubs have addressed the challenges and maximised their impact across the year. The two finalists are the University of Leeds Women's Rugby Club and University of East Anglia Women's Rugby Club. And the winner is the University of East Anglia Women's Rugby Club. Congratulations to UEA Women's RFC. To see the full write-up of the amazing work they have done this year to keep the club not only surviving but positively thriving, please check out the SRFU social media channels. You may well be inspired to replicate some of their great innovations in your own club. Hi, I'm Libby and I'm the president of the Women's Rugby Club at UEA this year and we have been awarded the Pioneers of Rugby Award by English Rugby Universities. It's a massive honour to be accepting this award on behalf of the club and I'd like to thank the SRFU for recognising our efforts and for their support throughout this year. With Limited Rugby, we focused our efforts on the family ethos that we pride ourselves on and we aim to provide competition throughout the year, which we were unfortunately missing out on through games. Credits go to our UEA Sport Coordinator, Claire, and to the rest of the committee for helping to organise and execute all of the initiatives that we have put on this year, online and in person. In what has been an incredibly difficult year for many, I'd just like to thank all of our Wolfpack members, new and experienced, for their commitment, enthusiasm and willingness to indulge ourselves in the full university rugby experience, despite the challenges that this year has posed. Thank you to the SRFU once again for the award and good luck to everyone who's beginning to play games once again. Our next award is the University Staff Member Unsung Hero. This award is to celebrate the unsung members of University Staff who through their role sustained the University game despite the limitations in place during the COVID-19 pandemic. And our winner this year is Alex Burnett of the University of Gloucester. I voted for Alex for the Unsung Hero Awards due to the amount of hard work he puts in behind the scenes which rarely gets noticed. He's put a positive swing on COVID by telling us what we can do rather than what we can't do, allowing us to still enjoy our times as students as much as possible. It's amazing and I'm overwhelmed that he's won this award and he'll finally get a bit of recognition for the amount of hard work that he puts in. Hi, I'm Alex Burnett, Student Activities Manager at the University of Gloucestershire. I want to say a massive thank you to Club Captain Tommy and the rest of the rugby community for nominating me for the University Staff Unsung Hero Award. To be the winner of such an award is an incredible privilege. In a year where our sports members and teams have been so far apart, sport is one of the few things which has provided connection when people have needed it the most. Rugby in particular bringing together over 150 students. Being able to facil facilitate sport and rugby in particular isn't a job for me, it's a passion and something I've always loved doing. Whilst this award is for an individual, I could not do everything by myself. Therefore, I accept this award on behalf of the team of Unsung Heroes at the University who have worked hard on being able to facilitate sport in what has been a very difficult year. Thank you again and congratulations to everyone that was nominated and have won awards this evening. The next award is the Coach Special Recognition Award. This award is to celebrate a coach or coaching team that have benefited their members' well-being and welfare or have demonstrated innovative and creative approaches to the game during the COVID-19 pandemic. The two finalists for this award are Chris McCauley, De Montford University and the Oxford Brooks University coaching team. Our winners this year are the Oxford Brooks University coaching team. I nominated the coaching team here at Oxford Brooks because I believe they've gone completely above and beyond what could be expected of them in what has been an incredibly tough year. On the pitch, they've provided playing opportunities for players of every single ability, be that through from the first team through to our development teams. And away from it, they've offered unrivaled levels of support, whether that's physically, emotionally, professionally and mentally. I know I've personally benefited from it. I think I speak for all of the club as well when I say that everyone has benefited from it. Um, so that's why I wanted to nominate them this year. I'm Joe Wimpenny and I'm the Head of Rugby at Oxford Brooks University. 
it gives me great honour and great pleasure to accept this award on behalf of our entire coaching team. Firstly, I'd like to thank the SRFU for the award and for their continued support. It means an awful lot to us within the coaching team, but also to everybody within the club. As a team, we just love what we do, whether that's supporting a player's on-field te technical and tactical development, whether that's supporting them off the field pastorally, which we've had a, a lot to do this year, or whether that's supporting our team of student coaches with their session plan, their design, their IDPs and their reflection. This is just a little bit of recognition for all of that. Oxford Brooks has been on a little bit of a journey in the past uh, four or five seasons. And we'd just like to thank everybody that's played their part in that up to this point. A part of this award is also for them. Thank you. Our next award is the Student Leadership Award. This award is to celebrate a university student or committee who has made an outstanding contribution to the game through their commitment and endeavours in leading through rugby in their university. For this award, we have two winners. For the individual award, the winner is Georgia Briggs, president of the University of York Women's Rugby Club. Nominating Georgia for the Student Leadership Award was so incredibly easy. As Eurofica's president, she embodies all of the values of our club and of England rugby. From her work making membership to our club more accessible for low income students, to organising a fundraiser which raised over £800 for women's charities during the pandemic, Georgia has been an inspiration on and off the pitch, and I've been privileged to work alongside her as captain. Thank you to England Rugby Universities for recognising all of Georgia's fantastic leadership over what's been such a difficult season, and as always, up the Eurofica. Hi, I'm Georgia Briggs from the University of York. It is an honour and a privilege to not just represent my university as both a rugby player and as president of the Women's Rugby Club, but to receive this award from England Rugby Universities. I'm absolutely thrilled to be the recipient of the Student Leadership Award, while so many girls at York are as equally deserving of recognition for their commitment to the club and to developing our sport. I'd like to say a big thank you to my amazing club and committee and to our alumni and coach Ian, for helping shape the club into the success that it is today. And I'd particularly like to thank my club captain, Amelia, who nominated me for this award and has worked tirelessly this year to facilitate the growth of women's rugby despite a global pandemic. And thank you to the RFU, England Rugby Universities and the York Sport Union for providing opportunities for women to get involved in our sport. Thank you. Congratulations, Georgia. The committee award goes to the University of Nottingham Women's Rugby Club. On behalf of the committee of the University of Nottingham Women's Rugby Club, I'd like to express our thanks for being awarded this honour. We've worked really hard this year to ensure that our club has grown and so has the sport under very trying circumstances, as have many clubs, and so this award means even more. We'd like to thank our coaches, Valley Matt, Jed and Paul, for their support throughout the year and also our staff at UON Sport for their ongoing hard work, not least Matt, Beth and Josie and the rest of the team. But most of all, this award is for our club, for their patience, honesty and hard work throughout the year. This award is for you. Thank, thank you. you! Our next award is the Student Volunteer of the Year Award. This award is to celebrate the unsung hero student volunteers who have made a significant contribution to the game through their volunteering. And our winner this year is Ben Parker, club president, Oxford Brooks University, RFC. I'm Jay Wimpenny and I'm the head of rugby at Oxford Brooks University, RFC. And I nominate Ben Parker for this year's Student Volunteer of the Year Award. Ben, in his position as president, has led the club in magnificent fashion this season. In a year that has been blighted by COVID and where there has been a severe lack of playing opportunities, Ben has taken the time to re-engage and reconnect not only the playing members, but the social members and the staff. He's also taken this opportunity to start a number of key initiatives for us, including an intramural playing offer, an alumni engagement programme, and also to carry out a complete 360 review of how the, of the club's governance. I'm proud to have worked so closely with Ben this year, and I'm pr also proud to have got to know him on a deeper level. He certainly will leave the club in a stronger position 
when he hands over to the next year's committee. Firstly, I'd just like to thank the SRFU for this award. It really does mean so much after what has been an incredibly challenging year for everyone. Um, it makes me feel really confident that the decisions we made have been the right ones, both for the club and for the sport. Um, but really this award goes out to the committee that I've had the absolute pleasure of working with this year. Without their constant hard work and dedication, I wouldn't have been able to do my job. So it's a massive thank you to those boys. Um, you know, it's, we were able to put out training every single week for 150, 200 lads with changing regulations and rules and offering rugby to players of all abilities. And just this last weekend, we played our first competitive fixtures as a club, five teams out, and it's just great to see it again. So without everyone's hard work and dedication, that wouldn't have been possible. So thank you to the committee, thank you to the SRFU, and just thank you to the whole of Oxford Brooks University, RFC. Um, this is just a fantastic way to end my university rugby career. Our next award is the Tom Miller Award for Social Impact. As many of you will know, last December, Tom Miller, the first 15 captain of Nottingham Trent University, tragically lost his life. And the student rugby world lost not only an exceptional athlete and rising star, but a young man who inspired others by his example off the pitch, through his fundraising and ambassadorial work for charity. This special award in Tom's honour recognises a club or student who has demonstrated considerable impact through charitable work and awareness raising endeavours. The recipient of the award has been selected in close consultation with Tom's family. Our finalists for this award are University of Sussex Men's Rugby, Nathaniel Bevan Brown, Club Secretary at De Montford University, and James Parker, Nottingham Trent University. Our winner is James Parker, Nottingham Trent University. I'm nominating James Parker for the Tom Miller Social Impact Award. In February, along with many others, James completed the hashtag Be More Tom challenge to run, walk or cycle 12 miles per week to honour Tommy's number 12 rugby share, all to raise money for the Nottingham ICU family room, of which we have raised over £16,000 so far. Going above and beyond, James ran 12 kilometres a day every day in February in the rain, sleet or snow with 12 kg in his backpack. In addition, he then ran 10 miles with 17 kg on his back to raise an extra £900 in a separate challenge. He did all this in honour of his and our good friend Tommy Miller, who very sadly passed away last December. It was an absolute incredible effort made by so many others, but I speak on behalf of everyone that James thoroughly deserves this award. He showed his true grit and determination every step of the way and is a true inspiration to us all and especially to Tom. James, you should be so proud. We're all rooting for you. So firstly, I'd just like to, on behalf of all the members of the Be More Tom Challenge and his friends and family, thank the thousands of people who donated to Oddball's Foundation and the Queen's Medical Centre in Nottingham who looked after Tom and his family before he passed away. Um, many of those who donated didn't actually know who Tom was and thanks to the unbelievable amount of social media sharing, uh, stumbled upon his story and uh, you know, deemed it necessary to, to donate in his name. And I think that speaks volumes about who Tom was as a person. He had that natural ability to reach out and connect with absolutely anyone and everyone and that is something he'll be remembered for. Um, thank you as well to everyone who shared it on social media. Without that level of scope we, we would never have been able to raise the amount of money that we did. Um, I take great joy and pleasure knowing that if Tom could see the likes of Owen Farrell and England members and more of his sporting heroes sharing his name and, and, and what he stood for on their social media, uh, he would have been going absolutely mental. Um, so thank you very much for that as well. Uh, in terms of the actual award, uh, I don't really know what to say. Uh, I've been trying to think hard about it, but I don't think words do it justice. Um, I was very lucky to be one of the many people who called Tom uh, a best friend and to be able to receive um, the first recipient of his award uh, really does mean the world to me. So uh, I want to thank England Rugby University as well for creating the award and allowing uh, his name and his legacy to continue as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, getting this award has, has made what's been a pretty tough start to the year uh, that much easier. So thank you very much. Very grateful. 
Congratulations, James. You are a true inspiration to many. And we have a very special guest who would like to say a few words. James, congratulations on being the first winner of the Tom Miller Social Impact Award. We've already heard the efforts you put in to complete the Be More Tom Challenge, which is a testament to your commitment and resolve to ensure funds are raised for both Nottingham ICU and the Old Balls Foundation. You should be proud of what you've achieved and the wider impact you're having. I'm sure Tom would be proud of all the work that you're doing in this area, ensuring others benefit from your charitable endeavours. I was only too pleased to share Tom's story when I came across it on social media and to do my small bit to encourage those to donate to do so. Lastly, good luck with the upcoming memorial match between NTU and Tom's school on the 31st of July. Well done again. Our next award is the Vaughan Harry Williams Award. This award is to recognise someone who has changed the game through their outstanding contribution to university rugby. And our winner is Paul Beatty, Durham University RFC and England students. I have had the pleasure of working with Paul Beatty over the years uh, with England students, both 15s and 7s. Uh, Paul always puts people first. Um, his care, his approach, his organisation uh, helps the whole uh, rugby experience that we've all had uh, for staff and players, uh, even a better experience. Um, he adapts and flexes very well, uh, even when some head coaches uh, change their mind. Um, his passion for rugby has always shined through and you see that uh, whoever he's involved with, whether it's at, at Durham, uh, or with the England students process. Um, you're a well-deserved winner of the Vaughan Perry Award, Paul. I congratulate you, not only for myself, but many others who have been involved with uh, you through the England students process. Well done, mate. Congratulations to everybody who's been nominated for a University Rugby Award. Thanks to the SRFU Awards Committee and the people who nominated me. Most of all, thank you to all of the student rugby players that I've been privileged to work with. Vaughan Perry Williams leaves a great legacy to student sport, particularly rugby union. In the 1980s, amongst many other roles, he was the manager of English Universities Rugby. So for me to receive this award in his name, whilst being the current England students manager, makes me very proud. A big thank you to the SRFU for their continued support for England students. Finally, I would like to thank everyone at Durham University RFC, players, coaches and management, particularly Alex Key and Mr Fergus King, MBE, our former president, who we sadly lost last year, for allowing me to be involved and giving me the chance to be involved in student rugby. Hi everyone, Josh Brown here from Sail Sharks. I just want to send a quick message to Paul Beatty up at Durham University for his achievement of being awarded the Vaughan Parry Williams Award for Outstanding Contribution to Student Rugby. I couldn't think of anyone more deserving to get this award than you, Paul. I think I came across you about 10 years ago now when you were coaching the threes at Durham University and I remember speaking to the guys who played for you and they spoke so highly of you, you know, the passion that you had for the game, the hard work that you put in. And I think that's um, that, that's been so evident to see in student rugby. And it was great to catch up a couple of years ago when you invited me to the England students um, camp to speak to the players and to see you as English students manager and um, and be at that level. But it's not just obviously the university side of, of rugby; it's also the all the hard work you put in for rugby in the northeast and especially at Durham City. So um, congratulations once again, fully deserved, and um, hopefully we'll catch up soon. As part of our ongoing efforts to ensure the highest levels of commitment to diversity and inclusion across the game, the Students RFU Awards panel were asked to identify nominations that showed examples of outstanding commitment to diversity and inclusion in the student rugby game. The following universities and individuals were selected by the panel for a special commendation and recognition. The University of Leeds Women's Rugby Club, University of East Anglia Women's Rugby, Nathaniel Bevan Brown, De Montford University, Georgia Briggs, President of the University of York Women's Rugby Club, Ben Parker, Club President, Oxford Brooks University RFC, and George Monroe, President 
Birmingham City University Men's Rugby. That brings us to the end of the 2021 University Rugby Awards and it is just left for me to once again congratulate all of our winners and nominees today and say a final thank you to all of those who have made today's awards possible. Remember to keep an eye on the RFU and Students RFU social media channels for information and updates on University Rugby over the summer. Thank you for joining us, stay safe and goodbye.